Welcome back. We are continuing the Devapala campaign. Liberation is coming up. Let's just jump straight in. It is in one's own mind, not their enemy or foe, that lures them to evil ways, said the Buddha. As I feared, our emperor had indeed changed. The seed of self-righteousness planted long ago and nurtured by uninterrupted success, had begun to bear fruit. In Devapala's mind, the ends now justified the means, no matter how terrible or costly. Yikes. And so he ordered a campaign to the south to subjugate the Pandyas, a proud people who were former allies and trading partners of his, and bring them the teachings of the Buddha. When word of this reached me, I burst into my emperor's chambers, begging him to reconsider. Needless aggression is not the mark of a virtuous ruler, I said, and forced conversion only thickens the resolve of a people against the creed. I told him that this war would cost thousands of lives and bring suffering to countless more. Talk to the hand. But the words that once guided him towards the path of light now fell on deaf ears. It is as one near the summit of the mountain that the footing becomes most treacherous. Now all I could do was helplessly watch as the armies of a tyrant descended upon a new victim. Damn. We are a tyrant. Uh, defeat the Pandyas. By destroying their castles. They have three castles. Uh, Devapala begins in the Imperial Age, but is restricted to a population limit of 150. Be aggressive. You have a limited number of villagers and can fish the sea, but your main source of supplies will be conquering enemy settlements. Bengali ships regenerate hit points over time. Deserving damaged ones will save you precious resources. Do not destroy what you can't conquer. Leveling an enemy castle will give you control of the nearby buildings. Concentrate on your objectives. Delay too much and you could quite well run out of resources. Alright, uh, Devapala and his forces approach Pandya borders and are ready to expand their domain to the south. The Pandyas control several settlements along the Bay of Bengal. Their forces of infantry and ranged units are initially no match for the Pala army but should be dealt with before they are able to bolster their resistance. The Rashtrakutas rule the lands beyond the mountains to the west, northwest and north. Their foot soldiers and elephants have not engaged with the Pal or the Palas yet, but as a known rival, they should be watched with caution. Tyrant sounds familiar indeed. All right, let's do it. So... So I'm looking at this and I can I'm not so sure about this venture venerable Devapala. War only creates more dissatisfaction and suffering, not less. Still trying to talk some sense into him. Um From what I'm seeing, we don't have a town center. We should look to the sea for food and plunder the contents of enemy castles. Okay, considering the fact that we get control over buildings. Every drop of blood spilled is a step away from your enlightenment. For once, there is sense in the advisor's words. If we construct a fleet, we can level the Pandya fortifications from the sea. So, okay, so they want us to do it on through water? Oh yeah, I keep clicking a hotkey except expecting to have a town center. I just spent all my wood <laughs> on other things. So I want to get this castle because... Actually, I don't think there's much... To... Maybe I get these buildings if I do the castle. But, uh, they're just pushing the water right away. Uh, this is not nice.
not how it was supposed to go. Uh, okay, so we're off to a horrible start. Defeat the Pandyas while killing fewer than 100 units. I mean, this is the dream for T West and his uh, his uh, pacifist runs. I mean, the hardest thing is going to be not killing units. Hmm. I guess I want that. Could potentially do shipwright as well. Let's do shipwright. An expensive upgrade at this point, but it should be effective. Okay, do I get buildings or anything? Should get this right. We have leveled the Pandiaf Castle. The land that it defended is ours now. Do ships count as units when I destroy things? Bala army is venturing this far south. What are you doing here, Bala? So I don't want to push on land. I want to try and do this from water, probably. Because that's where I will be... ...killing less units. Let me see if this counts as units. Yes, it does. Damn. I don't like this. They keep attacking me with units. I'm kind of forced to kill units. <laughs> That's the issue. Um, maybe we can... Let's just try and get scouting. I mean, we already got like 45 kills. It's like... And they keep sending units. You gave up water, so you killed less. I guess that's the strategy as well. But it's just secondary objective, right? Yeah, it's secondary objective. But they said we could take water from... And take the casts from water as well, right? So that is now my, my plan. We do adjust passing. Okay, never mind. They're just targeting... For some reason, the low HP ships. Can I even reach this from water? Probably not, right? What I could do, though, is just take out all their docks, maybe. If I can take out their docks, they cannot produce more ships for me to kill. Yes, exactly. I mean, there's still 50 more units to kill. Right now, it seems like they have slowed down a bit, the unit numbers. So, I guess it might be possible. Why are you sending... I'm gonna put them on no attack stance. Oh, don't shoot units! <laughs> so dumb. Wait, don't tell me a deer counts as a unit. Okay, good. <laughs> I misclicked. Oh. <gasps> Idiot! Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, I think I can reach this from water. Because the river goes here. Let's hope that was the last of the... Do the docks on the right, uh, bottom side. Wait, can we not get up there? Or can we sail through the... Oh man, that actually looks... Look how nice this looks, though. That looks really nice. The waterfall. I've never seen that before. It looks super good. Sick. Okay, we cannot reach this from water. I could try and transport over like five trebs and just go for the kill without taking units. We might have to come up with some uh, different type of tactics here. Maybe we can take out this castle from water at least.
get the lead cannons. Actually, do I need lead cannons? It's a lot of resources. I probably don't need it. No! Stop it! I don't want to kill you. Ah, shit. They're attacking with more units. I don't, didn't want it to kill anything. 53. I mean, I still have to kill almost 47 units. Maybe I can justify just killing all of this. Maybe. Yeah, let's do it. I think we can get away with those kills. I build five traps. And land them. With five melee Ratha. We don't even have to kill those. Okay, I think we're fine here. They have HP upgrades though. They have army. I probably have to send my ships with them just in case I need more support. Let's see. It's taking forever to take this out. Maybe able to sail, sail around. You think I could sail all the way around? I click there. No, they go down. I think there is no large... It looks like there's a waterfall here as well. Let's send one galleon to check. Ooh. Yeah, we cannot. I want to send my ships here, though. To support this YOLO move. Let's drop one trap just to see what's up. I have units. We have leveled the Bandia Castle. The land that it defended is ours now. Okay, I have a plan. I have a plan. Uh, that was not the plan. The Bandia lands will fall, and then what? Why are they going for the traps? Hello, follow me. Follow me. Let me see what he said here. The Pandya lands will fall. And then what? Will you enforce your dogmatic rule upon all of India? That's the plan. Okay, this is work. The debating, the debating stress working. It's successful. We have five trebuchets. That should be an easy cleanup. We could still kill 42 units. It looked way harder initially than it turned out to be because of how many units that were attacking me. But they kind of slowed down. I'm not even sure if they have 42 units that I can kill at this point, right? There's five there. There's like a couple here. I don't know if there's enough. Your conduct has inspired monks to bring the word of the Buddha to you. We have leveled the Bandia Castle. The land that what was just said? A good conqueror is not a butcher. Your conduct has inspired monks to bring the word of Buddha to your new subjects. Got a lot of resources. Uh, we have leveled the Pandya Castle. The land that is defended is, is ours, ours now. now. Okay. Uh, what's the next up? Lands are ours now, cousin. Your glory knows no bounds. Wait, was that it? Restore enemy castles to conquer settlements. That's more like it. That makes more sense. So, uh, destroy the Rashtrakuta Wonder. Which is this one. Oh, they're building it. It looks like we can only enter from the bottom here. So we have to go this way. I wish I had more villagers. Not sure what I want to make. We have a limited amount of buildings. 
could go el you know what let's just go for it elite battle elf <gasps> i have three relics why do i have three relics what did i do let's just get all the upgrades for these bad boys and we are gonna go i don't have food left at the moment do that i want to make elite units this time and go for the push And elite elephant archers, elite roomy swordsmen. Okay, that's fine. Did I not have like Rafa here somewhere? Okay, they're coming here. I have Keshik? Una horse lord. Not sure where they came from, but welcome aboard. Oh, it's the bonus for killing less than a hundred. So I got three relics for killing less than a hundred. Nice. Yeah, let's make some more. Uh, we have almost all upgrades. That's fine. They have full upgrades pretty much as well. So let's go for it. Look how many. Uh, elephants are shooting and it took still so long to die. It's crazy. Fish traps? I mean, I still have natural fish. I should make more fishing ships, though. I think I might even already have a strong enough army to actually push them. Knowing the AI of this campaign. That would not surprise me. Keshik or Katas? Did I say Katas? These are Keshik. Especially if they trickle one by one. I don't really... Oh, I got a castle! Oh, that's nice. Uh, very kind, very kind. If they're just going to trickle one by one unit like this, then this will not be hard. Killing dogs was probably a mistake. Yeah, but I, I, I didn't know how... Yeah, true. Yeah, I would have had sick docking potential or income. But I didn't know that they would stop making units like they did. There's a monastery there. I guess you want to just go straight for the castle so we get these buildings. Let's not kill the elephant archer. We want to convert those. So they can join us. There you go. We go straight for the castle. Maybe I get villagers. Oh, I could, might get a town center here. Not that I think I deserve one or should get one, but I might. Yeah, this is the fight where you can watch paint dry. Elephant Archer is Elephant Archer. I'm cheating though, I'm using the hill advantage. Okay, what happens now? This should all become yellow. <gasps> Don't shoot! Oh my god, I almost destroyed my town center! I I did not destroy that town center. It was deleted. Not starving. I could in theory dock again, yes. I don't want to destroy those. I'm going to try and convert them. But they're not standing still, so I guess it's not going to work. Okay. Still making progress. Another castle. 
don't know why he thinks my good converted villagers. Yeah, but I don't really need villagers. So I feel like I don't even have to convert. I'm not sure why I'm making ramps, actually. I don't want to destroy buildings anyway. I don't want to target the castles. Uh, I've actually never played a campaign, and now I kind of want to. Uh, John, honestly, campaigns... One of the biggest drawing points of Age of Empires 2 is the campaigns. There are so many good campaigns in this game. You will not regret it. There are some that aren't the greatest either, but trust me, you will have fun and you will enjoy. How many elephants are stacking there? 28 elephants. That makes sense physics-wise. Oh my god! <laughs> In ruins. Secure the buildings and continue our thrust into enemy territory. Sick. You can put like 28 elephants on like a two tiles. Okay, we got on. Obi Wan flashbacks. We have so many resources now as well. We're gonna get an unbeatable army. I already think we have an unbeatable army. But oh, we got this cast as well. That's sick. Yeah, this is... Uh, the Wonder is not even halfway there. Looks pretty good. Voice acting in campaigns hypes you up. It's amazing. Campaigns of AO2 A is something. Something really good. Play 300 hours campaigns and against AI before starting multiplayer and enjoy the whole time. That is awesome. Explore the middle. This is just mountain, but it sends something here to look what's around. But it doesn't look like there is anything. And I cannot get in here. Yeah, I don't think I can get in there. Maybe I could transport there. Seems like a lot of work, but maybe you can actually do it. Where did I look? Here. Let's try. Just have to... I mean, if I destroy this castle, I, I assume I don't get their buildings by doing that. That would be a little bit too convenient. Maybe, who knows? It's one of the noble truths. Maybe he's renouncing his castles and his base. You never know. Oh dear mother, hail from these lands, Devapala. Your invasion spits on her memory. Big words. Big words indeed. Yeah, we don't get their base by destroying that one, because they also disappeared from the objectives. Yeah, I kind of want to see how... Oh, I have a monk selected. I want to see how, how we can stack these bad boys. <laughs> That's four to six elephants. I just sailed villages into a waterfall. Hope you enjoyed the view. There is nothing in the middle. Oh! Here's a cheeky little shortcut. You can go without taking out all the castles and stone walls. You can just cut through these uh, barriers there. And then get to the wonder like that. I do dare indeed. Gods still decide your fate. And yours. Elephant archers now have the same moves, but as crossbows, right? I have no idea. I know they've been changed since they introduced the new uh, DLC. Because elephant archers used to be the... What is now Hindustan is a unique unit. But now all of them have access to elephant archers. Funnily enough, except Hindustan is. <laughs> have access to elephant archers through the archery range. Which means they also have to change the unit. Because the unit would be too strong. 
if it was the original elephant archer that you could build from if you could build them from archery ranges that would be too strong so they lower the stats a bit yeah let's finish the wonder and see what happens there we go speak to me Destroy this great temple, and for what? Lord Buddha weeps while the gods shut up their eyes in scorn. Sad. Marauding will not break the resolve of my people. Our vengeance will be sweet. Or so he says. Every single line in this campaign is a reference. <laughs> you only lose what you cling to said the Buddha. Devapala found that to be all too true. The more he tightened his grip on the south, the more it, or perhaps more accurately its ashes, slipped through his fingers. My emperor and his bellicose cousin had created a nightmare. There was no cheer or pride to be felt. As the Pala army struck its tents and began the long march back home. The stench of death and smoke choked the air. Punctuated by the haunting wares of the broken people that my emperor and his forces left behind. Tormented by the recognition of his arrogance and its price. Devapala breathed not a single word during the entire week-long journey home. At least he's very humble. Take KD. Yeah, I'm not, like, I'm not sure how many units they even have in the early game. Like, do they have enough units for you to kill a hundred? Well, before taking out the castles? I felt, felt like they didn't. I don't know. Yeah, the middle is just a bunch of, bunch of mountains. Cute design here, though. Alright. So that was the liberation, it was called. And then the fifth noble truth seems to be enlightenment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in that one.